on up it. and then in the case of like Pokemon training for instance um, and Wolf is able to like platform camp get platform extensions but uh, so is Pokemon training but going into game one you're gonna see already Vanya starts to chase down Solsi uh, pumping up the aggression on that part both of them are off stage but they were able to make it back on successfully and Venia was already, like, you really see, like, uh, I'm sorry, uh, MGW starting off with, like, a charging F smash. And I think he was maybe trying to call out a whiff punish on an aggressive landing, but he was a little bit too far forward for something like that to connect. Um, Venia already, unfortunately, down one stock um, already really so early into the set. Um, and, like, in doubles, like, you know, people are especially prone to SDing or, like, losing their stocks really early. But I love this double edge guard coming from MGW and Venia, but MGW not ready to uh, punish the spacing on the flare blitz instead gonna get hit and die across the stage but I love the effort and those really really deep back airs MGW trying to follow up on it but unable to find the third one all right now Solsa is doing a fantastic job of holding on to the stock but maybe he dropped the shield a little bit earlier perhaps the shield poke regardless gonna die at only a hundred percent to Greninja's up smash Granted, it did sweet spot and it did charge for a very long time. Uh, Ralphie getting the footstool on MGW, but actually getting the spike on Venia, cleaning up the stock so early. V wow. Venia looking to try to get a back air on Ralphie, but Ralphie is able to recover high above his back air range. So really, really fantastic awareness from Ralphie. Uh, right now, both MGW and Venia are staying up in Ralphie's face. So soon. He's trying to find a way to maybe sort of break the synergy that the two have. A fantastic downer just to break the rhythm and momentum. Beautiful upper. Unable to find the second one though. Which might have been a stock actually from that far up. But considering it's Charizard, he might have lived a little bit longer. Right now, uh, Solso has to find a way to get back off of stage. MGW ready to counter. Oh! That is something you have to be so, so attentive of. There is such like a loud and obvious auditory cue of the Flurry Blitz. And if you're in range of that, like either counter it, or just maybe just hold shield and then be able to get the whip punish after. Ralph is struggling to find a way to land, but Venia stuck, um, MGW stuck multi-jabbing the shield. Venia up smashing his up teammate, which actually helped alleviate the pressure a little bit. MGW's a little bit hungry for those up smashes. Venia just drifting off into the blast zone, I believe, with an SD. There's so many interesting stock exchanges, like in this set so far. Um, you see people losing them a lot earlier than they really should. Luffy trying to get the throw into the down air, but uh, I love the awareness, but they're unable to connect it. Wow, and the, because of the hitbox extension by uh, the back here on the shield, he was able to actually kick Solso off the stage. Ah, oh, Venia. I mean, uh, MGW back here in the wrong direction. I don't believe he intended it for it to be facing the stage. Um, beautiful counter. And suddenly this has become extremely doable. This is very, very doable for the MGW. As, oh, but that is going to be the forward throw. Greninja going to be killed off of the side on Battlefield. Um, so there are definitely some really, really early stocks being taken. Like I saw Ralphie connect his wolf side B, kill Venny a lot earlier than he should have. And we also saw Venny SD a few, a few times. So uh, going into game two, I believe we'll be seeing a lot less of those, hopefully. Um, and then maybe they will be just like... I don't know, they'll just be like a little bit more to pick at. Um, regardless, I just love, love the synergy between in the, both of these teams. The way that they're able to position themselves to be able to follow up after one another is genuinely really, really good play. Um, but right now going into game two, they're going to be sticking on Battlefield, which is a choice I agree with. I feel like it gave uh, either teams like the option to mix up the recovery when they really, really needed to. And it worked out brilliantly for them. Just so much damage just being accumulated in such a short time. Again, these back are amazing. MGW almost connecting the Shadow Sneak. Unable to find it though. And right now, MGW, I mean, Venia able to come back against Solsu's ledge trapping. The down air is so potent, but of course, uh, only getting the sour hit of it. A fantastic F smash to clean up the stock there. 
but it was wait. He F smashed his team. Uh oh. Never, never mind that. I didn't realize that he <laughs> that he uh, F smashed Vania. That was uh and uh, really are they just taking each other's stocks at this point? Like <laughs> Soul just F tilting Ralphie at ledge. Okay. Um now the game is mostly even. Both of the teams have taken each other's stocks. But you see MGW holding on to his. You're going to see him maybe play a little bit more defensively. And goes out, connecting the neutral air into neutral air. Really, really good stuff. And this is going to be so big. They gained all the stage control, but both of them committed off stage. I love the fact that Ralphie opted through the F smash out, knowing full well that Solsi would be able to cover all the other options. A beautiful up B to clean up MGW's first stock. And he almost died to that up air. And he has to be so, so careful when you're going above a heavyweight. Just going for a raw flare blitz. But he is going to get punished for it. So also definitely got a little bit greedy. And right now this set looks completely different. This game looks completely different than game one. Venny and MGW both with a stock lead. Uh, right now they just have to maybe set up a ledge trap scenario. I love the uh, fact that Solsu opted for those neutral airs offstage. Um, just, you know, but Venya able to maneuver around them really, really well. I feel like in general, both of these teams are very good at, like, committing offstage when they need to. Like, you see Solsu with the neutral airs, or Venya and MGW with the back airs. And then, like, the idea of Ralphie just to cover all, like, the ledge trap options is really, really brilliant as well. Venya trying to get something started on Solsu, but Solsu able to stuff out his approach with a couple of aerials. So really, really great stuff there. Um, Rafi opting to play back just a little bit, maybe disrupt uh, the frogs, like, um, momentum a little with the lasers. Um, it's also finding what needs to find a way to come back. He has re-grabbed the ledge. Venya ready to do the down tilt up smash, but able to get the counter spike. Really, really brilliant stuff. Now this is so, so difficult for Ralphie to find a landing, but the side B, the Shadow Sink, unfortunately, going to get the hitbox extension on the shield, knocking the teammate. Oh my goodness. That was the double smash attack. Yup. He, he just, MGW just demonstrated the way that the two ankles combine just to send them flying. That was... Yeah, that was something. So, definitely super, super different from game one. Um... You know, despite, like, the SDs, despite the fact that they were kind of, like, um, taking their teammates' stocks a little bit, I feel like MGW and Vanya had a lot better synergy this time around, and they were just able to hold on to their stocks a little bit longer. Um, I feel that Ralphie... There were a lot of times when Solsu was just kind of getting mixed by both, of the, like, the frogs on him, and Ralphie was, like, opting to play back with lasers, and I feel like an option as simple as running in and doing a dash attack or running in with a falling forward air might be the move. Um, yep, and both of the, both teams are going to be sticking with their respective characters, obviously. It's been working out for both of them so well so far. Um, and I will now be joined in commentary with Extra O once again. Right off the bat, oh, both of these teams respect the multi-hits. Uh, MGW getting the up and uh, Ralphie with the forward I believe. Or back here, rather. Oh, okay. I'll, uh, I'll make it a space one day. Oh, but yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Ooh, so also almost be able to get the, uh, the down air and really, really great awareness just knowing, you know what, I'm not even going to try to risk tethering back to stage. I'm just going to go Charizard and Flare Blitz on. Fantastic pivot cancel F-Tilt to take Venia's first stock. Yeah, this team, uh, Venia and uh, MGW, have a really good dynamic of not um, of knowing when they should do a 2v1 situation and when they should both be doing their own thing. Yep. And I noticed that a lot when playing them personally. They just kept switching back and forth from 2v1s to separate situations. Okay. Uh, slightly right now for MGW and Venia. Um, it's really important that when they're at a deficit, uh, Ralphie and Solcer don't let themselves give Vortex too much because they can do so much percent 
Greninja. Uh, it's already hard enough to land against one Greninja, but when two Greninjas are pressuring you, you can take 70 very quickly. And not just take 70, you could also just be knocked off stage and be hit with all of those back hills that MGW and Venya have been proving in the set so far to be a real, real menace. Um, really great down it. I love that from Venya. Venya just down aired Soul City Shield and then was able to throw out an air dodge um, afterwards just to maybe bait out an out of shield option, able to get the down tilt into up air. Yeah, Venya particularly loves to use down air on shield. I mean, it's completely safe. It's a matter of uh, reading where they drift. Yep. And you know, I feel like in this game so far, Ralphie and Solsu have been making the most out of their shields. Like, I see it be active so much. I would like to see Benny and MGW try to go for, like, not to say that they don't go for grabs as it is, but maybe just a couple of more. You just see them landing aggressively with a neutral air or with a dash attack. Yeah, and they're not sure. able to get much out of it, even if it is safe. Definitely not a grab-heavy team. I mean, Greninja in general, not too much of a grab-heavy character. But mixing it up can be really beneficial. Regardless, they do have a very slight lead, yep. I'd say. Fantastic F smash Ooh. to catch the cross up. MGW, uh, MGW, great patience off stage, making sure he's not going to get too framed by anything quick. And Venya trying to string the second back hill along, unable to find it again. MGW going so deep. <gasps> that was, I could have gone back Gasp so quickly. from the crowd. No. Solster clanking with the mist of the side B, it looked like. It's almost. like he got rock rock. Yeah, it was very tragic. But yeah, this is going to be one of the most precarious scenarios. I feel like as soon as you get you get hit with one of these aerials, like you're going to be taking at least 15 more. Yeah, and they're just so good at knowing who's going to go for who. These are very static partners. They yep. they know exactly what and what to do. And Venia trying to be cool and failing miserably at it. This is actually a big opportunity for Ralphie if he can close out the stock versus MGW now. Yep, but you see MGW opting to play higher, maybe to play back, and I can't help but feel like Ralphie's going to hit him with a back air through one of those jumps. Yeah, that's what I noticed when uh, fighting this team myself. They tend to jump at disadvantage every single time. Um, mm -hmm. It's their go-to option. It, just because Greninja's jump is so, so, so a good. Fantastic tech, um, and, but unfortunately the uh, second up smash connecting. Definitely not the place you want to be yeah. on top of two, two Greninjas. Two up smashing Greninjas. Hell on earth. NJW, like, been in the gym? Question mark? Click. Yeah, he's got, he's got, he got, he rolled up the sleeves. Yeah. He's actually flexing. He's literally flexing. M, M buff double. Okay, I spent way too much time thinking of something clever. And as soon as I said it out loud, I immediately regretted it. So, anyhow, going into game four, I believe. Yes, yes, it is going to be game four. Um, Ralphie and, and uh, Solso having a one to two game, dis uh, game deficit. And so I feel like they need to definitely call out some of MGW's and Venia's jumps a little bit. They're able to get all the mileage with the falling neutral airs, all these falling aerials. And then MGW and Venia, if they want to really optimize and get the most out of their damage output, they have to really, really adapt to all those shields that they're using. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's it's just a matter of like not letting the the like constant pressure get the mm -hmm. best of you really it's really easy just be overwhelmed so yep. it's you it you can punish these landing arrows from Greninja as impossible as it seems it's just you got to be patient and you got to wait for it don't yep. pick an antsy option and I feel like something as simple as maybe an up air from Ivy Sword could be really really like monumental yeah. and, like stuffing out the falling neutralize for sure I mean that's the biggest hitbox of all time uh, not actually don't, uh, but it's extremely big and Ralphie going great. so deep, he had the right idea to drift away from the back air, but unfortunately his spacing was ever so slightly off, and thus he side beat to his death. I mean, I feel like if he drifted in anymore, he would have gotten hit with the back air. Yeah, it's so such a It's such a forced a SD. Situation. Definitely not where you want to be, but uh, Greninja catches your drift downwards and ready with the back air, and they have their second jump. Um, right now, MGW, you see he's like picking up the aggression. Right now, trying to maybe read a jump coming from Solsu and almost Not dying feeling. to the I feel like it was really important that killed there for them to get back in this game. Oh, not the strong bear. And MGW was trying to, I mean, uh, Venue was just trying to maybe wait out like the time Wolf would land um, by pummeling, but unfortunately, he couldn't risk it any longer. 
Ooh, really good fair, calling out the water shuriken and a dash attack. Okay, they are back in this after that really, really early death yep. from Ralphie. Yeah, and Soul City is just hanging on to the stock. Like, Charlie is going to act like this a really, really amazing stock tank. Uh, Ralphie getting the trip with the down tilt. Huh. Yeah, that's what uh, makes Pokemon Trainer so strong in doubles. The ability to be a stock tanker and someone that can then be like the aggressive yep. type that mm -hmm. is support is so key. Um, as well as maybe one of the best ledge trappers that just has like a do-it-all option oh. like down it. But <gasps> what a grimy kill. Uh, what in the world happened? So, Wolf, uh, if you fall out of Wolf's uh, beat, you kind of just go flying like it's yeah. item hit knockback. And MGW buffered an air dodge that made him fly under the stage. Ah, uh, he was expecting a tech. Yeah. He's um, definitely trying to attack it. Really unfortunate. Really unfortunate for sure. Um, and Venya able to get the falling down air, uh, the, the down air into a neutral. But unable to connect much more off of it. I love the fact that MGW is like, you know what? I have a stock down. I'm going to start wow. playing back a little bit with look, the shurikens. Look at that synergy. Uh, comboing off her ninjas up there with the fair. That's going to close out uh, Ralphie stock. And the upbeat almost took it at such an early percent. Yeah, if you DI that upbeat wrong, you can die very early. But if you DI it right, you live really long. So just make sure your DI's on, DI is on point. And so he was maybe trying to get a forward throw with Charizard. Who knows if that might have killed. Able to still Beautiful trade backer. with the neutral air using his back air. The and they still game, end this. <gasps> MDW cannot be happy about that one. Uh, yeah. A really big way to throw away something. I mean, Ralphie has gotten so many of these, so many of those side B kills in the set already. Really, really just like great awareness for him to be able to connect those. And you see neither of them like particularly like trigger happy to go in on Venya, who just like sort of waiting for him a little bit, which I think is definitely the move. Since Ooh, really you get back. hit once, who knows how much more you'll be taking. What? Oh my gosh, and that. <gasps> That was what the re-grab! Oh, and Souls here missing the punish on and the re-grab. That's the stock. Damn. Oh, Souls here not looking too happy about that. Yeah, it's really devastating to uh, choke a kill like that. So there were two there were like two parts of that entire exchange that kind of like upset me a little bit. It was just Souls' inability to follow up on the um on the re-grab on ledge, because that would have been a down tilt, that would have been an mm -hmm. F tilt, that would have been something. Spike, maybe. Yeah. yeah. It could have been just about anything, but then